the top 10 monuments of India. India is a country with many different cultures, customs, and a long history that has had a lasting impact on the world. And it's no surprise that India is home to numerous monuments that attest to the nation's rich cultural heritage. Ranging from the majestic Taj Mahal to the opulent forts and palaces of Rajasthan. In this video, we'll take a look at the top 10 monuments of India and examine their historical and cultural significance. Join us as we find out the history and learn the tales behind these magnificent buildings. Before we get into it, like and subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos like this. Number 1. Taj Mahal, Agra One of the most stunning structures in the city of Agra, the Taj Mahal, is included in the Seven Wonders of the World. A Mughal emperor named Shah Jahan erected this monument made of white marble in honor of his devoted wife. This World Heritage Site has become a very popular visit by all travelers and romantics from all over the world due to its amazing architecture and the history behind it. The Taj Mahal is recognized as the best illustration of Mughal architecture, a synthesis of Indian, Persian, and Islamic styles and its harmonious proportions and fluid incorporation of decorative elements. Other attractions include lovely gardens, a museum and twin mosque structures that are positioned symmetrically on either side of the mausoleum. The Taj Mahal, one of the most exquisite architectural designs in the world and one of the most recognizable monuments, attracts millions of tourists every year. Shah Jahan initially planned to construct a second mausoleum across the river to house his own remains. It was planned for the building to be made of black marble and to be connected to the Taj Mahal by a bridge. Number 2. Golden Temple, Amritsar. The Golden Temple, which is also known as the Harmandir Sahib, is the holiest shrine on the site of pilgrimage in Amritsar. This is the most revered Sikh Gurdwara in Punjab, India, and is adorned with a gold gilded exterior and a long history. The Golden Temple is situated in Amritsar, the sacred city of the Sikhs, and it is one of the most revered Sikh pilgrimage sites. It's known for its entire golden dome. The Mandir is also a two-story building that is constructed on a marble slab that is 67 feet square. The upper portion of the structure was constructed by Maharaja Ranjit Singh using about 400 kg of gold leaf. Numerous other well-known temples including the Durgyana Temple surround the Golden Temple. Number 3. Meenakshi Temple, Madurai The Meenakshi Temple is located in Madurai on the southern bank of the Waigai River most of who are devotees of Shiva and Parvati. Including architectural enthusiasts from all over the world visit this temple. The shrine's 14 Gopurams are thought to contain 3 to 33 sculptures. It's unquestionably a location to go to if you're impressed by art and cultural history. The presence of approximately 33,000 sculptures within the vibrant temple is another intriguing aspect of it. However, it is best known for its enormous Nataraja sculpture which was erected on a silver altar. Visit the Hall of Thousand Pillars while you're here to see the amazing scenery. Minakshi, a manifestation of the goddess Parvati, is the main deity of this temple and is carved in emerald-colored stone. The idol has three breasts because it is thought that goddess Minakshi was blessed with having three breasts at birth which are said to disappear once she finds the right man in her life. Legend has it that she was encountered and she has encountered Lord Sundarisavarvara, a manifestation of Lord Shiva. The third breast actually disappeared. Number 4. Mysore Palace, Mysore A well-known historical landmark in the Karnataka city of Mysore is the Mysore Palace. After the Taj Mahal, this is the most well-known tourist destination in India and is frequently referred to as the City of Palaces. With its expansive halls, Lovely art paintings and Indo-Saracenic style architecture. It is a sight not to be missed. Due to the amazing illuminated lights covering the entire monument, nighttime is the best time to visit. The Mysore Palace shines like a diamond in the darkness thanks to the brilliant gold lighting. Its red colored domes and the vast campus become invisible and then I say visible in the morning. The Maharaja Krishnarajendra Wadiar the fourth hired British architecture, Henry Irving, to design a plan for a lavish palace. 
The architecture wasn't finished for 15 long years. In 1912, the impressive Mysore Palace was finally finished. More than 6 million people visit the Mysore Palace every year. Even today, the Mysore Palace continues to observe the venerable Dasara festival custom. Number 5. Gateway of India, Mumbai The Gateway of India is Mumbai's most well-known monument despite the fact that the city is known for its Hollywood actors and films. The Taj Mahal of Mumbai is a well-liked gathering place for locals, tourists, street vendors, and photographers. The magnificent monument was erected to honor King George V and Queen Mary's visit to Bombay. Its location is not to be missed with family or when taking a tour of India because it offers so much more than fun and excitement. The building has an Indo-Saracenic appearance which is a well-balanced fusion of Islamic and Indian design. King George V only saw the cardboard replica of the Indian Gate while he was in Mumbai. Both locals and visitors congregate here to take in the scenic beauty of the ocean. Additionally, there are lots of food stands, gift shops, and other attractions to keep visitors busy. It also serves as a standard port for a number of India's illustrious institutions. Number 6. Red Fort, New Delhi Red Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is situated in the heart of Delhi. This renowned historical monument is a must-visit location if you particularly enjoy learning about history and culture. The walls of this museum complex, which was built in 1648 by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, are made of red sandstone. The fort was constructed with sandstones and was white in color when Shah Jahan, the Mughal Emperor, began constructing on it in 1648, along with the name change. The fort's color was also changed to red. The British had ordered it all to happen. Limestones were originally used to construct the red fort. The British had to paint it red when the white stones started to chip off. Number 7. Hava Mahal, Jaipur The Hava Mahal, also known as the Palace of Winds, is located in Jaipur, the state capital of Rajasthan. One of the most popular tourist destinations in the city of Jaipur is this unusual five-story structure, which Maharaja Savi Pratap Singh constructed in 1799 out of red and pink sandstone. The Hava Mahal was constructed in the form of a crown and resembles a crown worn by Lord Krishna. It is thought that Savai Pratap Singh was a fervent follower of Lord Krishna. So a separate complex called Hava Mahal was built for the royal ladies. The concept was for the royal women to observe city life from the windows. The building's facade has a beehive-like window. The intricately crafted windows allow the royal women to observe the city's activity without being seen by outsiders. There isn't a direct entrance to Hava Mahal. Instead, you must enter from the side of the city palace. Since Hava Mahal was constructed as a portion of the city palace, there is no exterior entrance. Number 8. Kutub Minar, New Delhi In the capital city of New Delhi is one of the most tallest towers in the world as well as the second tallest mine art in India. This well-known monument which raises to the height of 72.5 meters and has about 379 stairs showcases the intricate architecture of India. Travelers from all over the world visit the most well-known tower in India because it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site made of red sandstone and embellished with Arabic Brahmi inscriptions. In the same complex as the Minart, there is a mosque called Quwwat al-Islam. It is the first mosque built in India despite being in ruins. Number 9. Sanchi Stupa Sanchi Located in Sanchi, India, the Sanchi Stupa is also known as the Great Stupa. It is a revered Buddhist monument. One of the earliest stone buildings in the center of India was built by Emperor Asoka. Visit these important Sanchi landmarks, which include a number of Buddhist stupas, monasteries, and temples to learn about Indian culture. In India, Sanchi is a well-liked tourist destination for Buddhists. It is situated in the Raisin district of Sanchi, Madhya Pradesh. India's oldest stone building is the Great Stupa at Sanchi, which was constructed in the 3rd century BCE by Emperor Asoka the Great. Number 10. Charminar, Hyderabad Without visiting Hyderabad's most illustrious and magnificent structure, the Charminar, no trip should be considered complete. The most recognizable landmark in the city of Hyderabad is this magnificent and striking mosque, 
which was built in 1591 and had four minarets. These have four stories with intricately carved rings surrounding each floor to divide it. There are 40 musallas or prayer rooms. There is an open area adjacent to these that can be utilized to accommodate more people during special occasions like Friday prayers or festivals. It is situated at the westernmost point of the roof of the monument. The view from the top is surely breathtaking. A small vazu with a tiny fountain has been built in the center of the Trumner courtyard to serve as a source of water for the ablution before performing prayers. On Charminar, one can see the distinguishing features of Qutub Shahi structures. Each pillar has, well, let's just say it has been constructed in such a way that it resembles a lotus leaf. In comparison to Minars, the structure's arches do give it a slightly shorter appearance. On each of the building's four sides, four clocks were also added in the year 1889. That's a wrap on the 10 monuments of India. Which of these monuments would you like to visit? Let's hear your views in the comment section. If you've not hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, do so now to see more of our videos. Thanks for watching.